My family, Prince Harry in spare, called Carnival of Sokol Expert Dan Mutton a sad little man. And my family, he was 100% right. The guy is a sad little man. This guy, Dan Wooten, is someone who's hell-bent in destroying other people's lives. It's like it gives him pleasure. And from what I can see is that people who live extremely miserable and happy lives are the ones who are hell-bent in destroying other people's lives. People who they see are happy. People who they see are thriving. People who they see are doing so well. People who they see as being in love. As Dan Wooten sees Harry and Meghan in love and my family, it pisses him off. And my family, sadly, it is not just him. There are other currents, other people my family in Wikimedia who also are pissed off and angry at seeing Harry and Meghan happy together. So much so that they're still hell-bent in destroying Harry and Meghan's lives by consistently attacking them day in, day out. Which is also what Dan Wooten does. Now my family, roughly two weeks ago, multiple media outlets reported that Prince Harry would not be attending the funeral of his late uncle, Robert Fellows. Multiple media outlets quoted unnamed sources who my family say the stuff. And people like Dan Wooten said this stuff comes from Prince Harry. This story came from Prince Harry. And the story was that Prince Harry would not be attending the funeral of his late uncle due to safety concerns. And Dan said this comes straight from Prince Harry. My family, let me remind you some stuff of what my family I saw Dan Wooten said. Because today, after finding out that Prince Harry indeed was in the UK, Dan, my family, has made up new lies. Dan is still complaining. Dan Wooten, the sad little man, is still whinging. My family, here first of all, what Dan Wooten said two weeks ago. Breaking right now, shocking news that Prince Harry will not return to the UK for his own uncle's funeral. This is Robert Fellows, who is the husband of Diana's sister, who Harry claims to be very close to. And Calvin, what's most shocking is the reason behind this. He says it's because of security concerns. It's because of this ongoing row that he's having with his dad, who he's desperate to step in and force the government to give taxpayers money, our money, Calvin, so he can be... My family, that's what Dan Wooten said a couple of weeks ago. As you can see, he was complaining that Prince Harry was not coming to attend the funeral of his late uncle, Robert Fellows. And my family, I've always said this, UK media are looking for ways, are looking for ways to somehow drag Harry back to the UK. They are looking for excuses they can use to find a way to drag Harry back. Whenever the royal family have an event, number one question, is Prince Harry coming? Even when that event has nothing to do with Prince Harry, no more question is, is Prince Harry coming? My family, it is worth noting that my family, UK media, the tabloids, have never really asked whether Prince William would be attending the funeral of his late uncle as well. They simply were asking about Prince Harry. 
And today also we have learned that William was also there at the funeral. And William has told the media, you know what, he did not speak to Prince Harry. In fact, he avoided him. Because William does not want to make UK media angry with him. Because UK media expect William to brief them. Whenever he finds out anything about Harry, UK media expects to be briefed. In exchange, they'll, my family, leave William alone, give him good press, give him positive coverage. In exchange, they expect to be briefed. Anything, any story about Harry, they expect to be briefed and fed by Kensington Palace, headed by Prince William. That's what they expect. And that's why you are seeing my family, Kensington Palace, saying that, you know what? William and Harry did not speak. William is my family telling the media, don't look at me. I had no idea Harry was even coming. If I knew, I would have told you. That's the message William is sending to UK media, my family. In fact, I believe Prince Harry did not give a 28-day notice informing Home Office and Ravek that he was coming to the UK, my family. And no wonder this visit, my family, has been my family a secret. It's been a complete secret. And my family also, clearly, the only, one who, only ones who must have known and my family, you know, the Spencers, once again, protected Harry's privacy. Once again, my family, I thank them for that. They are good people. And also, you know, I'm so thankful at how they support Prince Harry. I'm very, very thankful about that 100%. Also, don't forget that my family, you know, we also learned that the Spencers were there at Princess Lilibet's christening in Montecito. So my family, clearly Harry also, came over to support, you know, his aunt. And that's what Harry did. And my family, I am sure the Spencers are very, very thankful to Prince Harry. But my family, let's go back to carnival of so-called expert Dan Wooten. Now Dan, the sad little man, was complaining and whinging, pissed off, and my family, the, the news that uh, Prince Harry would not be coming to the UK for his uncle's uh, funeral. He was so pissed off, so angry. And once again, none of them were asking if William would be going. None of them. <laughs> and, and even my family, also, it is on noting that, as you can see, UK media were not outside the church my family whereby the funeral service was taking place with family they weren't there it is worth noting that Turkey media were not outside the church whereby the funeral service was taking place because if they were there then my family they would have been able to snap a photograph of prince harry or even of prince william or even of prince william because as I've said, if they knew that Harry was coming, my family, you'd have a hundred paparazzi outside. You'd have carnival of so-called spots outside the church trying to get a photograph of Prince Harry arriving. That, I can guarantee you, that's what would have happened. But my family, they never asked if William was going. They never cared to ask because William is the one who clearly is extremely irrelevant. William went there and also attended the funeral, my family. And my family, after Harry left, UK Media found out he was there. Clearly, William was the one who briefed them. William was the one who briefed them and also tried to appease them by saying that, you know what, he and Harry did not talk, and that they also had no idea Harry was coming to, to not my family get UK media angry with uh, Prince William. And I believe they accepted Prince William's, you know, argument 
But, but my phone, once again, once again, I have to say, William went there and Yuki Media honestly did not even weren't covering the event. Which is very, very interesting. Because it shows you exactly who's the royal, who is irrelevant. Because right now, I can confirm UK media are asking people for a picture of Prince Harry. Daily Mail is asking anyone who may have a picture of Prince Harry to send them an email. <laughs> William was there. <laughs> but they're not asking, asking about him. They're asking about Prince Harry. <laughs> they're asking about Prince Harry. They're ignoring, you know, Prince William, my family, and they're asking about Harry. They're asking for pictures of Prince Harry. As of now, no picture of Prince Harry has been released. My family, UK media, were trying to find out to drag Harry back to the UK for this service, for this funeral service. And then they end up completely ignoring it, my family, because they believed Harry wasn't coming. Yet William went there. And they still ignored it, my family. They, they completely ignored it. You know, completely ignored it, my family, because Harry wasn't coming. And now they're asking anyone who may have seen Prince Harry to give them a picture of him, to send them a picture of Prince Harry. <laughs> the level of desperation is so so real it is so so real my family that clearly my family they can ignore Prince William as many times as they want but they want they are so desperate to force back the role for is Prince Harry they want who they want the one who they want to keep on dragging back to the UK over and over again is Prince Harry and my family, UK media, will use any excuse, any method, any way to find a way to keep dragging Harry back. Not because they want to treat him, to treat him well, my family. No, 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 of course not. But because, my family, they have been unable to destroy the spare to prop up the heir, Prince William. UK media have failed. They have failed in their hit campaign targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. And my family also... Once again, William is clearly the one who is very much irrelevant. Now, Dan Wooten, this time, has uh, commented again. After finding out that Prince Harry was actually in the UK, Dan has responded. Once again, making new claims. More like new lies targeting Prince Harry. Number one, Dan accuses Harry of treachery. My family, Dan Wooten says, and I quote, The Prince Harry wants to engineer a reunion with his father after traveling to the UK for his uncle's funeral. And that Charles must continue to resist. And the tougher and more isolated Life gets in Montecito with Meghan Markle. The more Prince Harry is questioning his vile choices. My family, what is this choice? My family fleeing the UK. My family, Harry and Meghan were forced to flee the UK. UK media can say as many times as they want that it was a choice. My family, it wasn't. By bullying Meghan constantly, by abusing Harry's son and Harry himself, UK media were creating a toxic environment for Meghan and their son, which is what UK media did. And because of their actions, because of their hate campaign targeting Harry and especially Meghan and their son Archie, Harry was forced to do what a father, a husband should do. Put his family first. Protect his family. And he saw the only way he could do it is by taking his family out of the UK, which is what Harry did. And my family, that's something UK media are pissed off at Harry for. 
that he dared to live a toxic environment, that he refused to watch as Megan was being bullied 24 hours a day and do nothing about it. They're angry at Prince Harry because he acted, because he defended his wife, because he dared to defend his son from them, from their racism, from their bullying, from their abuse. And they want Harry to regret it, to regret leaving them, my family. Because the thing is, it was always a choice. Harry was always being asked to choose. Even right now, he is still being asked to choose. And UK media want him to choose them. My family, to the UK media, it is either Harry chooses them or Meghan at Lilibet. And they want Harry to pick them over his family. They want Harry to keep on allowing himself to be a cash cow, to be exploited by the media until there's nothing more to exploit. And then they want Harry to allow them to also use and exploit his kids till there's nothing left to exploit. That's what Yuki Media, my family, are demanding of Prince Harry once again. As once again, my family, because they are unhappy that he chose Megan and Archie over them, they are asking him, demanding he chooses again. And this time, they want Harry to choose them. UK media. Charles, William, over his own family. Over Megan, over Archie, over Lilibet. They want Harry to put the farm first over his own family. To put William, to put Charles, to put the institution first over his own family. My family, that is something that Harry must never ever make the mistake of doing. He must never ever make the mistake of doing. One moment, Dan's complaining that Prince Harry won't be coming to the UK. My family. Today is complaining that he did come to the UK. And he's saying that Prince Harry, somehow, he is there because he wants to engineer a reunion with his father. <laughs> <laughs> my family honestly I, I, I've said this before and I will say it again my family clearly Charles has shown he has no interest in any kind of reunion with Prince Harry he has shown he has no interest in my family having Archie deliberate in his life he has shown that he has no interest he doesn't care at all he has shown that We've seen it with our own two eyes. He doesn't care. My family. And I'm sure that Prince Harry also has gotten the memo. However, what I believe Harry wants and desires is for Charles to reinstate what he had no right to take away. Security. That's what Harry wants. And my family, UK Media, have been also, my family saying that, you know, Palace sources are telling them that Charles has no power to give back Harry's security. We all know he does have the power to give back Harry's security. He and William just want to blame the government and say it's them who's, who are refusing to give Harry security. My family, it is not the government. Harry is the king's son. He's the king's son. Even former presidents their kids are protected after my family, their term ends. Even the former prime minister in the UK, Liz Truss, who was only prime minister for a few weeks, receives lifetime protection, my family. Prince Harry is the only one who, you give me, you don't want you know, him to have security. Don't want his family protected. And Prince Harry is fighting that and i believe if prince harry gets what he wants if he gets what he deserves security because my family security is a very very important issue very very important if harry gets that my family 
I don't think you'll be seeing him, even my family, wanting to have any kind of uh, contact with Charles at all. He'll be done with the guy. He'll be, he'll be completely done with him, my family, if he gets what he wants. Because Charles also has shown that he doesn't care for Prince Harry. But Harry wants one thing, security. That he knows his father can give it back to him. Can reinstate it. My family. And I believe that one of the reasons as to why Charles refuses to see Prince Harry is because he does not want to my family give back Harry security. He doesn't want to give Harry back his security. And that is one of the reasons as to why he doesn't want to see Prince Harry. Because he knows that that's what Harry wants. And he doesn't want to give him back what he wants. My family. I don't think Harry will, will mind very much anymore. Anything about Charles. If he gets back what Charles took away. Security. Which Harry Meghan need. It's very, very expensive. My family. Which Harry Meghan need, need every single day because of the farm's smear campaign and hate campaign they've waged against Harry and Meghan. I even saw some carnival of so-called experts saying that Prince Harry is calling his father, asking him to give back security. And the palace is saying that they can't do it. They don't have the power to do it. The Charles didn't have the power. Charles does have the power. He just doesn't want to and i say to you all a couple of weeks ago if that's what harry is asking from his father i hope he keeps on you know calling him till charles gives back what he had no right to take away security 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 which is very very my family important which charles and William has have been using as a weapon, you know, against Harry Meghan. And my family, that's in that's so wrong. That is so so wrong what they're doing. You must never ever use someone's safety as uh, some kind of weapon against that person, against that person to control that person. You must never ever do that. You can't put your son, child, daughter in danger, you know. Telling them that unless you get what you want, you won't give them back security. You won't give them security. And what you want is to destroy your son's life. What you want is to control your son's destiny, his future. And clearly, you don't wish well for your son. Charles wants to help William destroy Harry like my family. All the other spares in the royal family have been destroyed. They want the same fate for Prince Harry. And once again, I hope it never ever happens to my family, Prince Harry. And also, I told you all, UK media are hell-bent in isolating, you know, Meghan and Prince Harry. I've always said it. And Dan is confirming my words. UK media are targeting Harry and Meghan's business ventures. They are targeting Harry and Meghan in particular. They are targeting anyone who is seen even taking a selfie with Harry and Meghan are targeted. This is being done to try and isolate Harry and Meghan. Whereby they want to leave Harry and Meghan with no one to turn to. With no one who they can trust. But UK media want to offer an option themselves. UK media, they want to be in Harry and Meghan's lives. They want to follow my family, their lives. They want a way back in into Prince Harry's life because clearly Harry is the one who sells papers. Harry is the one who gets the clicks. William does not. That's why my family, UK media, did not bother going to the my family funeral. Did not bother sending photographers to go and even check if maybe Harry will come over. Because my family, they didn't care. They didn't care. When they found out that Harry wasn't coming from unnamed sources, they didn't care if even William was going there. They didn't care one bit. They didn't care. But now that they now know Harry was there, now they're asking anyone who has a photo of Harry to please sell it to Daily Mail, who are, my family, happy to purchase that photograph. 
my family it is sickening what uh Yukimiya keep on doing time and time again. It is sickening what they're doing time and uh, time again, my family. But once again, my words have been proven to be true. Yukimiya are indeed trying to isolate Harry and Meghan, my family. Because even Dan says that the tougher and more isolated life gets in my family, Montecito, with Meghan, the more Harry will be questioning his choices. My family, Yuki Media, are doing something behind the scenes. Whereby, actually, this is public knowledge. Yuki Media are targeting Harry Meghan's business, their friends, everyone around them to isolate Harry Meghan. They want Harry to regret leaving. But I've always said this. If you want someone to regret leaving, you don't remind them of the reasons why they left you. For example, UK Media keep on bullying Harry and Meghan. Keep on attacking Prince Harry. Time and time again. Keep on going after even Harry and Meghan's kids. Archie, Lily Bedana. Demanding to be given a picture of them. That way, they can exploit them. They're making demands after demands after demands after demands over and over again to Harry and Meghan. Then, how can Harry and Meghan regret leaving when you abuse them? When you bully them. Because the reason even why Harry and Meghan fled the UK is because of the racism Meghan experienced. It's because of the bullying Meghan has been constantly subjected to. Then how do they regret leaving when you remind them every time you attack them of why they left? There is no way Harry and Meghan can ever regret leaving because UK media, their attacks remind Harry and Meghan every day just why they step back as senior members of the royal family. UK media, the vile abuse, harassment of Harry Meghan, remind Harry Meghan why they left, remind Prince Harry why, if he does come to the UK, why he has to take extra precautions, why he has to come in secret, whereby no one knows he's even coming. My family, how can Harry regret leaving my family every time he does come to the uk he has to take precautions to come over <laughs> whereas in california he can move around freely he can go wherever he wants freely my family how can he regret leaving my family if you want someone to regret leaving your place treat them well whenever they're around you treat them so well that they even have second thoughts. And they're like, why did I leave? But the weapon UK Media keep on using is abusing Harry Meghan and then somehow hoping that they'll regret leaving. How is that going to work? It's been more than four years after Harry and Meghan fled the UK. My family, Harry spends only a few hours in the UK, which even UK Media are complaining about even right now. That is back in California, in the US. They're complaining about it, my family, even right now. But then they're like, oh, Harry, Harry wants to come back. Harry is desperate to come back to us. The guy spends only like 72 hours in the country and leaves quickly. You can, you can count the hours he spends in the UK. <laughs> but UK media think that somehow he regrets leaving them. My family abuse has only ever succeeded in driving Harry Meghan away. It has never ever succeeded in somehow making Harry Meghan regret leaving the royal family. Meghan even in particular does not set foot in the UK unless she's taking another flight to another country. <laughs> Harry, when he's there, only spends hours in the UK. <laughs> My family, you know? So, so really, UK media keep trying to somehow make Harry Meghan regret leaving the royal family by targeting their income, their business, their friends, thinking it's going to work. It is not going to work. It is not. It is not. If it had worked, by now, Daily Mail would have been invited to Colombia to go and cover Harry Meghan's visit. But as you've heard, most carnival of so-called experts have been complaining that they were denied access to the to Harry Meghan, when they were in Colombia. 
when they're in Nigeria, wherever they go, Harry Megan, UK media keep trying to demand to be given access to Harry Megan. And they're always denied. But some of think they can make Harry Megan regret leaving. Surely. It's been four years, more than four years actually, after Harry Megan stepped back as senior members of the royal family. You cannot make someone regret leaving you when you abuse them every time. You, you, you can't. You just cannot. You just cannot. My family, you just cannot. You know? You just cannot. The, the, the security is something important to Prince Harry. If Harry gets that, even UK media are afraid that Harry won't want anything to do with Charles and William. And my family, I do hope Harry gets what he wants. Security for his family. 24-hour protection. And that the taxpayer in the UK pays for it. Not Harry Meghan. Not Harry Meghan. UK media are the ones who have my family in hatred against Meghan, Harry, their kids. Taxpayers in the UK should pay for the security. Not Harry Meghan. Harry is the king's son. And for as long as there's a monarch in the UK, the taxpayers in the UK should pay for Harry's security. And I hope Harry gets what he wants. My family. Because when he does get what he wants, my family, I believe UK media will be complaining about it. You know, because I don't think they'll be seeing Prince Harry even oftenly coming over to the UK. I don't even think they even see that, my family. I don't. I honestly don't think they, they'll even, you know, see that. My family, I don't think they'll see that. You know, because what I've always believed really is that Prince Harry, what he's looking for is that IPP status to be reinstated. That way, wherever he travels, even to the UK, for a visit, he receives 24-hour protection, which he and his family deserve. My family, which he and his family deserve. That way they are not harassed, you know, or followed around by the UK media. My family, right now I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. Dan, don't worry. Even I don't believe that Charles wants somehow, you know, a record of Prince Harry. He doesn't want to. Charles and William are hell-bent in destroying Harry's life. And my family, this time, for the first time in history, and I tell them this, you will not destroy the spare. For the first time in history, William, Charles, you will not destroy the spare. You can media, you will not be able to destroy the spare's life. Not this time. My family, kindly please stay tuned to this video. Love you all forever and may God bless you all my family. And sad little man, Dan Wooten, to stop complaining. Though my family, I highly doubt you can ever stop uh, complaining. My family, the guy makes, you know, money from his hate campaign targeting Harry Meghan. My family, clearly this guy, you know, does not want to leave Harry Meghan alone, my family. Does not want to leave Harry Meghan alone. My family will keep on demanding that he does. We'll keep on demanding that he does. My family, please kindly stay tuned on this video. Love you all forever and may God bless you all my family. And all these desires by Yuki Mir somehow make Harry Megan, you know, beg. Or to say Megan begging, my family, is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Harry will not beg Charles. Megan in particular also will definitely not beg her abusers for anything. Never. Never again. Remember, the one thing that Megan ever pleaded for from Charles was for him to, my family, let Harry keep his security. That's the only thing Megan ever pleaded for. And that's what Harry is fighting to have returned. And my family, I hope he gets what he wants. I don't think there's anything else that Megan can ever ask Charles or William for. Nothing family right now i want to hear once again your opinion on what we just discussed may god bless you all and stay tuned on this video love you all forever and family and may no open phone against harry megan archie and also little bit diana ever prosper god bless you all and stay tuned on this video love you always and forever and my family may no open phone against harry megan archie and also little bit diana ever prosper Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. 
First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.